Dreamhouse bio digesters in 2023 this is how we are going to construct biodegradable waste bio digesters here in ghana and there are three key types of bio digesters that we are going to construct and the whole construction technique that we are going to use is what i'm going to share with you in this video the most important type of bio digester that we are going to consider for most homeowners in 2023 is a bio digester with a traditional soak away attached to it is the most successful type of bio digester you can construct for any house is the one that you can guarantee the long-term use of the digester more than eight years more than seven years depending on the average users in the house is the type of bio digester that when you do it you know the homeowner has not thrown their money away and they are going to get a return on their investment in terms of investing in a bio digester the only problem is that because it comes with an added cost so most homeowners and some of us, the biodigester contractors, are not willing to explain to the whole homeowner that if you do a biodigester, instead of me doing a soak away, a soak whole pit rather, and attaching it to the biodigester, after two, three years of continuous or excessive use, there's water in that soak whole pit that will overflow or will block the pathway for the shear pipe water to go because there's a lot of water that is coming. And probably the ground is equally not that good. It might be clay, it's a bit waterlogged. So water from the ground might seep into the digester. And especially during the rainy season or the wet season, you might have a lot of water in the ground. So when you flush your human waste from the inside the house, it's not possible for the water to go away. That is the problem that usually we have with a soak hole pit. But if the homeowner is willing to invest in a soak away, then obviously everybody's problem is solved. Let's say this problem that I've enumerated still comes up. It will go into a soak away. You have done the block work. You have perforated, you have left some bases, some holes at the base. So let's say the water doesn't go. You have put a clean out, four inch clean out or five inch, I mean six inch clean out on top of the slab and it's buried, the, the soak away is hidden. So in a worst case scenario and the water is not seeping away, it's not going, you will just open it up and have that water pumped. Any excess water in the biodigester will immediately run back into the soak away and then that can all go. If your biodigester needs that peace of mind to work, the biodigester does not actually need any water in it, then it works well for you. So any issue you open the soak away, you do your job and everybody is gone. Any issue you open your soak away, you take the water out, the biodigester is back to its use. The only time you go to the biodigester itself is if there is time for the routine maintenance which in that case you are estimating a longer use because then there's no water in it, it's only the human waste and you can guarantee that the only human waste in the biodigester is going to work to perfection. Biodigester plus soak away is your best bet in 2023 if you want to construct a biodigester for any homeowner. Another construction of biodigester that you should consider in 2023 is constructing a biodigester, a large family size biodigester for all five or six toilets in the house and then putting it in a soak away. The reason why most people prefer you construct two separate biodigesters is because they are not sure whether the digester is going to work. And people have done it and they said they're having problems with one biodigester. So they are going to rely on the other biodigester until servicing is done on this one. So people prefer to have two separate biodigesters because if one gets a fault, then they can use the other one until is maintained or the works are done on the 41. But what I know from experience is that if you do construct a large biodigester, even for a four bedroom house or a three bedroom house, and all is connected to a soak away, as I've explained in the previous point, the soak away becomes your added advantage for you. So any issue is the soak away that we go to, any issue, the soak away that we go to. And most of the problems that we have with biodigesters is the problem with the wastewater not going away from the digester bed and then rendering the biodigester bed ineffective for the biodegradation to take place. So if you have a soak away attached to a biodigester, the pipes can run around the house and they can come and fall at even 1.5 meter and it will still work well because the depth of the soak away pit will be determined by the depth of the digester. So if the digester is about two feet or one meter depth, you are looking at a soak away about two meter or six feet or five feet, giving you enough room for the shear pipe to come and then about two feet difference for the wastewater to seep onto the earth surface. And if the wastewater does not seep, another advantage of having it scooped out 
or pumped out is also there for you. So in any case, in any situation, the soak away, the traditional soak away is key for your biodigester construction in 2023. And the third most important and significant biodigester construction that you have to consider for this year is that you construct a biodigester and then you connect it to a gutter or a drainage system. It's always been one of the best bets. It's always been how most of these government biodigesters have been done for the local communities because the wastewater is floated, it can equally go into a drainage system. The drainage system that the kitchen, grey water, and then the bathroom water and the laundry water are all going. The same water from the toilet can also go there. Because when you do a soak away, the water, there's no raw sewage allowed to go into the gutter, which is what is against the EPA regulations. If the water is floated, it can be dumped in a gutter or a drainage system. If somebody doubts you, you just get a a vortic bottle, you fetch this water from the digester, you go to the water research institute at 37, you have it tested, and then you can check the equal level whether it meets the standard for which EPA wants you to drop any wastewater in a gutter. If it doesn't meet it, that means that a further enhanced filtration will have to be done in the biodigester so that the water will meet the required standard for which it can be allowed in a gutter or in a drainage system. So that's also key for you. The, all the reasons behind this mindset and this technology is that you do not want water rendering the biodigester ineffective to make sure that your water goes is there. But in all this understanding, you also get it that if you are doing biodigester for a, a house and there's less users of the facility, it's a security post, it's a boys' quarters, it's a guest toilet. In all this situation, there's not going to be enough water that will render the biodigester ineffective. So in that case, a so-called pit, a, drainage, a drain flow system, a French drain will all work fine to your advantage. The only problem is the users in the particular facility and the amount of people who will be using that facility and then the pressure that it brings on your biodigester and the wastewater that must get a place to go is always what you are looking to solve. That's why in 2033, when you are constructing biodigester, the wastewater and where it's going or the black water and where it's going is key for that needed peace of mind when it comes to biodigester construction. Dreamhouse Home Improvement is a channel we are dedicating to the construction of biodigesters. If you are new to us, you can subscribe and be part of this growing community of biodigester lovers right here, either in Ghana and across the world. The next video showing me on this channel is going to explain to you in depth and going to give you a step-by-step -step understanding of how biodigesters work and how you can use it as an option in managing your human waste.